In good health tonight, bad news for seasonal allergy sufferers, also the hazards of too much light at night. But first, our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with new research that finds far too many Americans are lacking someone very important in their life. Right, Doc? Hey guys, yeah, you know, so here's a question for you. When is the last time you saw your primary care doctor? Well, for many people, the answer to that question is, I don't have one. And that is a problem because having a long-term relationship with a doctor actually keeps you healthier and it lowers your medical costs. In fact, a recent study found only 43% of American adults had a regular doctor that they had been seeing for at least five years. Now that's actually the lowest from a study comparing the US to primary healthcare access in Sweden, Canada, Switzerland, Australia, France, Germany, New Zealand, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands and Norway, basically the rest of the world. American physicians were also least likely to say they offered after hours care or make home visits frequently. Now there's a new warning if you sleep with a nightlight or leave the TV on. A new study from Northwestern University School of Medicine finds sleeping with light in the room could be bad for your health. In fact, the team found being exposed to even a moderate amount of ambient light during sleep activated participants' sympathetic nervous systems. Now that causes your heart rate to rise. Researchers say that can throw off the functions of the nervous system, which helps actually restore our bodies while we sleep. Now finally, a new study by a University of Michigan researcher suggests allergy season is getting worse and climate change is to blame. Wind-driven pollen is closely tied to temperature and precipitation changes. So, as spring seasons get warmer earlier, plants pollinate much earlier and for a longer period of time. Now, the study found different tree pollen varieties that once varied in timing are actually going to eventually overlap with each other, which is going to lead to overall higher concentrations of tree pollen. Now, in fact, the research projects by the end of this century, pollen season in the U.S. could begin 40 days earlier than now, and the pollen count could climb by 250 percent. Now, that could be avoided if the world substantially reduces greenhouse gas emissions and reduces carbon dioxide that's already in the atmosphere. Back to you. A lot to think about there. And in fact, all right, thanks, Doc. We'll bring Paul